Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on data protection using time travel. If you have not seen my recent blog on time travel in medium portal, I would suggest you please have a look. Let's see some demo. So I'm connected on my Snowflake trial account. Uh, I am also connected as a sysadmin role. Let's create a transit database. Uh, the only reason to create a transit database uh, is to save some credits. There is no other purpose. So I will create a new a fresh database name as Tram Travel for this demo. All the scripts are pre-created to save some time. So I will click on refresh and see that the new database has been created with the public schema with no table there. So I will create an employee table and a file format, simple CSV file format to upload the table, uh, upload the data in the table. So I if I refresh, I will see that now the employee table is created. I will click on database. Sorry, I need to refresh. Okay. I have to click on time travel database, click on employee table and load the data. So I will select the default warehouse. I will select the file as employee 01. I will click on next. I will select the same CSV file format. I will keep everything as default and say load. Now five records have been successfully loaded. So let's go on worksheet and see whether we have data successfully loaded or not. So you can see that uh, I have all the records. And if you uh, see on the city column i have different city mentioned over here so say if if there is a scenario and I, uh, if i by mistake update the city with uh, uh, with amstelwin and i forgot to put the where condition and updated all the records in the table said if this is a scenario what will happen so i have just updated let's go on history tab and see the update statement so here is my update statement let's Click on the query ID and copy the query ID for future use. So I will keep this query ID for my future reference. So I will just put it here somewhere here. Yes, I will put this query ID. So uh, if you remember that I have just updated. So let's see whether I can see the data with uh, half second. Because now if I query this table, I will see that all the records are updated with them still being. So let's close this history. So you can see that all the city column has been updated with them still being. Uh, but if I want to see the actual data, let's see if I am able to see with this or not. So I'm still able to see M still being. So let's see one minute. I think we have already spent one minute. No, still this. So 1.5 minute. Yes, so 1.5 minute before I can read the data from my time travel. So basically this syntax means like if I want to see uh, based on the offset of say numbers of seconds uh, back. So I can travel the time like I, I can travel back to the time and uh, read the data from that particular time set. So that's one of the beauty of uh, time travel and the time travel is basically min maintained by the retention period uh, whatever is defined for you so for uh, standard it is uh, zero to one days and uh, for enterprise addition and above it may vary from zero to 90 days so whatever is set at your account level or database level or at the table level based on that you can move back and read the data from there so basically, if you see here, I can read the data back from two minutes as well. And it's still saying I'm still being, if I say 2.5 minute, it will show me that, yeah, I can see all my data. So that's one way to read the data. Another way, like if you remember, I have copied the query ID. So I can also, sorry. So another way is also to uh, query the statement or uh, query the table based on what happened before or at 
that particular statement level so this was the statement which modified the data so i want to look whatever is there before this statement so i use the before keyword and i querying the same table so you can see that uh, before updating the table this was my city name and to be precise still my table is on updated records and i have not modified my data say the third scenario is like suppose by mistake uh, you have dropped the employee table now what happen like uh, do you have to go to dba and request them to re uh, restore your table no in snowflake you don't have to do that much stuff it's simply you can go uh, now i have dropped the table let's see whether i can select from the table no there is a simple keyword called undrop which will undo all your drop table so if i say undrop table employee it will just revert the mistake which i did now if i go and select from the employee table it will allow me to give the record but the issue is still i can see that my table is still having the mistake in record but uh, i want my old data back so how i will do that so this, for this scenario basically i have to create a backup table out of the employee table which is reading from the old uh, data time and then uh, i am going to truncate the table and then i am reloading the employee table from the backup table and then i am going to drop the backup table at the end so i am just going quickly and grabbing the query id so i will just use that query id over here and i will create a backup table here sorry i have to remove the space so my employee backup table is created now i'm going to truncate the employee table and i'm going to insert the records from backup table to my employee table and now i'm selecting the data from employee table and see that my city table is now having the original record which was there at a time of load so this satisfy this give me a proof that um, uh, this time travel uh, feature is very powerful and if you have set up your uh, time travel uh, properly you can travel back to any point of time uh, which is uh, like whatever is allowed for like say 0 to 90 days or 0 to 1 days and uh, then you can re restore your uh, data uh, without uh, needing any help from the dbt now what is the retention period set for your account or your database or your table how how you can look those things those uh, information so to look at the account level you have to use show parameter for account and look for the parameter which uh, generally use that is data retention in days uh, data d, d, d. okay data retention time in days so my for by default data retention time in days is set as 1 which is a default value for account and let's see what is there for uh, database so for database it is also one so this is the default one for database and for the table also the default is one so you can see here the default is also one now say if you want to update the uh, retention period and you want to increase or decrease whatever you want you can do that so for that you need a you need to switch your role to account admin to do the changes because without this role you will not able to modify this parameter you can modify the duration period for your account using the alter account set statement and i can modify this from 1 to 30 if i want so now if i go again and query the account level parameter i will see that it's set to 30 see here so now you can see that the retain, data retention uh, time in days is set for account is at 30 but say if i want to uh, set a uh, different or uh, if i want to override the account level parameter on the database level i can do that uh, using alter database time travel set the same parameter with a different value but uh, because I have created a transient database, uh, I will able to only set either 0 or 1. 
So default was one. So I will set it to zero. Let's see whether it will allow me to do that or not. Yes, it was successfully set. Let's see. So now you can see that the data initialization for the table level, uh, sorry, at the database level is set as zero and the default was one. Now say if I want to override the database level and uh, want to set that at the table level. So default is one. I will set this also as zero. So if I go here and now see what is set at the employee level, you can see that the default was one. And uh, because we have override that with the zero value, now the default value, now the value or the table level of, for this parameter is zero. So friends, if you like my demo, please uh, subscribe to my channel and like and share with your friends. Thank you.